Hello guys, welcome back to Hey It's Fear YouTube channel. My name is Fear and you guys are watching Tech and Trend. So guys, to those who are new to Hey It's Fear YouTube channel, please do consider subscribing to Hey It's Fear channel as it means a lot to us that you guys show your support by subscribing to us and kepada siapa-siapa yang tengah tengok ni that have already subscribed to Hey It's Fear YouTube channel, welcome back. So guys, this is the beginning of a setup series that I'm going to do on this tech and trend segment on Hey It's Fear. Um, so basically on this... Um, series i'm going to share with you guys uh, my setup so which gonna include like my workspace setup and also my uh, gaming station setup and also my what's in my bag what's in my working bag what's in my uh, portable gaming station setup um, so please stay tuned for that and that's why you guys have to turn on the notification button below so that you guys will get notified when um, the new setup episode comes out on this tech and trend so without wasting any time let's go to the first entry of this setup series on tech and trend let's go working in creative industry requires a very high level of creative thinking skills and also creative solution from time to time however at the same time i need to know when to put a pause to that to relax my mind and recollect my thoughts so that i can keep focus on the thing that i'm working on all of that are needed in order to produce a meaningful impactful and high quality outcomes Therefore, a comfortable working space is very crucial to me. My name is Fear F. Andy, and I'm working as a creative director of Boopy Production and a video editor at CCC. This is the first part of a two-part setup series. This is my home studio working desk setup. I decided to separate my working desk setup with gaming station as this helped me to stay focused during work and also give me good times when I'm playing games. Let's begin with the furniture that helps to make this setup a reality. For the table, I decided to go with this home pro sure banquet table in white. I choose white so that it matches up with my home studio wall. And bright colors help to make the studio look more spacious. As for my chair, I decided to go with the Casa Monza ergonomic executive office chair. Yes, I'm a big fan of a gaming chair and used to own one. But I decided to ditch that chair as it was taking so much space in the studio and it makes my studio looks cluttered. This Casa Monza office chair have a good design to it and it's very comfortable and sturdy. It comes with a height and incline adjustment so that I could adjust it to my comfort and most importantly, it helped on improving my body posture. Especially since most of the time, I'll be sitting on this chair on a very long time doing my work. Next furniture that is also important to me is a footrest. It also help with my sitting posture and at the same time because I'm short and without it my feet will be in awkward position and not comfortable at all. Last but not least, monitor stand. Both of my working setup and gaming station have monitor stand. It helps to increase the height of the eye line between the monitors and my eyes. Apart from that, by having a monitor stand, it helps to create more space that I can use on the table. Now let's talk about the gears that I use to make this setup possible. For my main working machine, I'm using this baseline model of MacBook Pro 13 inch where I dock this on a vertical stand and I connect it with my Adam Elements Hub A USB-C adapter. This adapter is not cheap but it comes with a complete necessity IOs such as USB 3.0, HDMI port, Ethernet port and Thunderbolt 3 Type-C port. In order to save some space on the desk, I velcroed this adapter to the wall. Apart from saving space, it also helps in my cable management. For the monitor that connect to this Mac, I have this HP Pavilion 23FI monitor which I bought second hand. It's a full HD 23 inch IPS panel monitor with a 60Hz refresh screen rate. Not the best for gaming, but for working purpose, this is more than enough for me. The color accuracy is quite accurate, and it is definitely a big upgrade in terms of size compared to my 13-inch MacBook Pro. However, this monitor doesn't come with a speaker, so I paired it with this Philips BT64 wireless speaker. I decided to go with a portable speaker form in order to keep the minimal setup on my desk. I must say, when I decided to buy this, I didn't expect much from it because this speaker only cost me around 40 ringgit 
but as I've been using it to monitor my audio while I'm editing and also listening to music, this speaker exceeded my expectation in terms of the sound quality. Other than the speaker, I also use the Apple AirPods if I want more privacy and blasting out loud song without disturbing others. This MacBook Pro 13 inch is not the most powerful machine available, but again, I'm trying to stay within the affordable range. Also, for all of the creative works that I'm currently heavily involved with, this is already more than enough for me. Except for the storage, because trust me, 128GB of storage will never be enough, especially when you're working with big files like videos and animation. Therefore, I have with me one 2TB WD hard disk as my main storage and a 1TB Toshiba hard disk as my time machine backup. At the same time, I've been keeping my backups at Google Drive, which I've already upgraded mine to 2TB online storage. I use the Google Drive as my archive storage most of the time. On my desk also, I have with me one wireless charging panel for my Samsung Galaxy S10e, one iPhone charging dock for my iPhone, and one clamp style desk lamp. Sometimes I don't really like working under bright lights, so I'll just turn off my lights and turn this desk lamp on in order to set some mood to me while I'm working. Now let's move on to my working peripherals. I've been using this GameSir GK300 wireless mechanical keyboard. The quality of this keyboard is on par with most of high quality mid-range mechanical keyboards out there, and I have nothing to complain about. Also, the backlink is not RGB, which I think is good because I don't think RGB suits my working mood. As for my mouse, I'm using the Logitech MX Master 2S. This is actually a gift from my fiancé from 3 years ago and hands down, this is the best mouse I can ever wish for. I've been using this mouse since 3 years ago. This mouse comes with a side wheel and trust me, that side wheel is such a game changer in terms of flow of working. For recording machine, I have with me the AVF D Shanta mic and this one is a non-studio version so it doesn't come with an arm stand and a windshield. So I bought the windshield separately at Shopee. The quality of this mic is really good in my opinion. Hey, you guys be the judge because this whole VO that you guys are listening to now, it was recorded with this same exact mic. So what do you think? And last but not least, I have this coaster that I bought at Shopee because it is important to stay hydrated but at the same time protecting the surface of this table very well. So yes guys, this is the first part of a two part setup series my home studio working desk setup. So guys, macam mana apa pendapat korang terhadap aku punya working desk setup? Um, any comments and thoughts, please do leave on the comment section down below. I would like to know your opinion about my desk setup. Uh, do you guys think there's any idea or opinion from you guys that can make the setup looks better or maybe uh, can look more aesthetically pleasing do let me know on the comment section down below and please stay tuned for the next part of this setup series which is my gaming station i've put a lot of effort on doing that so um, please stay tuned on that video and also because of that don't forget to subscribe to hit its free youtube channel again turn on the notification button down below and also i'll see you guys in the next video definitely and like i have always said guys remember to always do great be great and stay great hey sphere walking off